Hello friends and welcome back to this series where we are talking about how to find a good software job. In earlier videos we talked about self-preparation and job search and in this video we are going to talk about the most important part that is the interview process and preparation. Uh, I would like to discuss uh, certain things such as technology interviews, then uh, the rounds with CTO, the rounds with CEO and the coding assignments which are you know generally make up your entire interview process and finally I would touch upon the subject of salary negotiation and how to decide whether to accept or reject the job offer right so without wasting any further time uh, let's get started so when you talk about interview process it might begin with telephonic round this telephonic round is generally conducted by HR personnel they are usually trying to figure out if you are the potential candidate for this particular job profile so basically they'll ask questions like your uh, technology experience your previous projects they will talk about you know their requirements at this point they might ask about expected CTC to see if it's worth interviewing you like if you are expecting something which is way beyond their budget they might not want to waste the time with you at this point you should be very diplomatic do not commit to any figure this answer should be vague do not do not mention any offers if you have hold your cards right just give some vague answer uh, which is close to your uh, expectation or you know little bit more little bit more right not less remember that now in telephonic round you want to make sure that they are compelled to call you for the technical round of interviews right that's important so communication is very important if you fit the bill you will definitely get a call for technical round of interviews it goes without saying that you must be prepared for this usually what happens is that when you're working you tend to focus on things that you need in at work right but when you're going for technical round you should study you should be prepared I mean even though let's say you have worked in Java for four years yeah, that really does not mean that you will be good to go for a technical round of interview in Java technology is always evolving right for example I was working in uh, rails right but we were using Ruby on Rails 4.2 in our project but when I went to interview in this August basically the rails has already uh, settled to 5.1 and 5.1 had introduced a lot of new things so I anticipated that they will ask certain questions about you know what is new in Rails 5.1 have you used it uh, you know can you tell us more about it and exactly that's what happened but I was prepared so I could answer those questions preparation is a must so generally I would say anything between five days to seven days of preparation is important before your first technical round let's say you are applying for full stack web development position right so in that case I will generally say that you prepare from HTML file then you prepare CSS a little bit uh, then of course uh, JavaScript in this case to impress the interviewer further you can add a cutting edge technology like SAS or less if you want you don't have to be thorough but you can read about them and prepare a bit you can read about TypeScript Ruby because you are applying for let's say rails development right position and then rails Apart from that, this is what expected from you for this technical round. So if you are applying for Ruby on Rails full stack web developer position. But if you are applying for developer, maybe you want to talk a little bit about DevOps. So you can study Jenkins, you can study uh, Amazon Web Services, uh, you can study a little bit web hosting, you can study a little bit uh, of uh, continuous integration so what I'm saying is that these things will be expected of you when you're applying for a full stack web developer but if you also prepare a little bit I'm not saying thorough it's impossible to learn everything in one week but if you just know conceptually right 
what uh, DevOps are and what Jenkins does or how can you use AWS for hosting web apps or continuous integration means what then it creates a further impression that you are willing to go more than what is expected of you so I would always say that plan very well your technical uh, rounds really plan and study right so it's very important don't take for granted that because you have worked in uh, Ruby on Rails you can crack technical round easily for Ruby on Rails or for that matter Java or any other technology right so keep that in mind preparation is the key for your technical round and not just it will help you in the interview but it will also help you in your work right whenever you join this company or even if you don't end up joining a company and you go back to your previous job it will always help studying periodically will always help one uh, best piece of advice I can give even if you don't want to change uh, your job give interviews you will be up to date with the latest market requirements you will know about technology changes and you will understand where you need to improve give interviews every year even if you don't want to change your job so this is a emerging trend especially in India to give the candidates a coding assignment to be done at home or at uh, the premises of the organization uh, now one thing I would say is that uh, write test cases please please write test cases in this don't forget about this be wary of uh, security issues the thing is that most probably this coding assignment will be very basic but what they are trying to check here is your uh, do you write test cases are you a disciplined developer uh, do you worry or do you care about security issues like you know cross-site scripting attacks you know SQL injection attacks or something like that again it depends from technology to technology uh, whether you are in web client or something go beyond what's expected for example style the app you know using a bootstrap framework or if possible let's say use uh, react even if they have not mentioned it you know uh, some framework like react or or let's say instead of using plain CSS you can use SAS right something so do something which will catch their attention which will tell them that you can go beyond what's expected right write comments obviously and before you submit the assignment uh, make documentation I would say that is also very important if you can and if you have time I would say deploy it on Heroku if it's a web assignment deploy it on Heroku so they can put in the URL in the browser and start uh, using the application without even going to the code first right so that will be even more impressive remember this is not a college exam so you are not just supposed to write some code and give some output they are actually trying to judge you based on your discipline your quality and your willingness to go beyond what's expected right now I'm mentioning it here because I often always struggled in these interviews so again prepare uh, beforehand uh, go through YouTube videos or you know uh, download any books if you need but whatever you're not good at you must cover your basis so this is very important cover your basis so I remember for every company I applied for I always always went prepared for this as much as I could if you're not good at certain interviews certain kind of interviews such as for me it was always data structure and algorithms so you have to do your basic preparedness what are the general questions that they ask in such interviews uh, you know what are the general solutions that you can have it's important that you make an attempt right remember the golden rule of getting through interviews do not do not ever appear helpless in any interview always 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 try always try no company is expecting a perfect candidate there are no perfect candidates nobody walks in an interview and gives all the correct answers maybe one in uh, 10,000 candidates can be like that but companies will be extremely lucky to get those candidates right so none of your interviews are going to be you know walk in the park what is important is you try 
you show that you are trying you genuinely attempt each problem even if you have no idea about how to solve that problem do not ever come across as a helpless guy who is just begging for that job or who just wants that just try you know don't solve but try so these interviews were like that for me i tried my best i prepared my best and you know what in all the companies i interviewed for i was never ever denied a job based on this interview this is optional but really happens in startups right when the chief technology officer takes your interview now for this i would say find out about the cto right go to linkedin check his profile and see what is his expertise let's say the cto was expertise in uh, web security right so you have to change your way of preparation you cannot prepare for cto round exactly as you were preparing for technical round right if the cto specializes in web security that means in most likelihood he will or she will ask about security also try to find out about the company and its product your preparation for this round must be different than your technical round for example a cto will never ask about syntax right or a cto will never ask about apis like do you remember this do you remember that they always talk about concepts and trends mostly so this is very important to understand that cto round is even though it's technical interview it's different okay so prepare it differently again uh, you have to prepare approach this differently uh my advice is go on glassdoor find out about the interview process for this particular company read about it maybe sometimes you around may ask some puzzles if you know what's coming at you in each round you are not surprised like if i go into a ceo interview and i knew that this ceo has asked logical puzzles to previous candidates because that i read it on uh, glassdoor right i'm already know that i need to try right i need to try and solve these puzzles you cannot solve every puzzle what he ceo he or she is trying by asking me these puzzles is that my way of thinking how am i approaching the problem right the purpose is completely different so if you know if you know what's going to come at you you're better prepared for that again ceos will not be talking about technology much right so do not worry about it in ceo round you know it's more about your communication skills your logical abilities and your uh, flexibility right for example uh, if you have always worked in product companies and if you are applying for interview at a service company uh, the ceo might ask you hey but we don't build products so why do you want to work here know about the company uh and know about their products again this is very important in this uh, scenario you might want to surprise them for example uh, if this company uh, serves the clients for latin america or south america right and if you can speak spanish right so you can mention that in this ceo round of interview but you can only make this impression if you know about the company its products and its uh, you know uh, market where it, where does it operate general advice is to get to know the interview process interview process may vary from company to company right so it is important that you know and you are prepared accordingly i was shortlisted by this uh, company called as uh, thoughtworks right i had read about it like first interview is you know coding round second interview is pair programming third round is aptitude test two more rounds of uh, data structure and one more project specific right so i knew that they have this 3 and 2 5 6 rounds right and i knew what they usually ask in each of these rounds also i knew that in coding round i'm supposed to write unit test cases so this was new for me but i was prepared for it because i had done my research and i knew that thoughtworks wants their potential employees to be writing unit test cases right again pair programming i knew what to expect if i had not prepared beforehand if i did not know that i had to write unit test cases to impress people in coding round 
I may never have got this offer from ThoughtWorks. All right, so this could be tricky, but my advice is hold your cards. Don't tell them about any offers that you might have. When they ask about expected CTC, always tell more. Remember that. You might not believe that, but you deserve good salary. If you have gone through all the interviews, they will give you good salary. Of course, I mean, everything has a limit. The key is that you hold your cards and then you ask for more and let them come with an offer, right? Only after, only and only after they make an offer, then you slowly show them your cards. For example, uh, they make you an offer of, let's say, uh, 10 lakh per annum, right? Then, if you already have an offer of 11, then you can tell them, oh, I already have an offer of 11, right? And I really like that company too. It's more likely if they like you, they will come up with 12. But if you tell them beforehand that I already have an offer of 11 LPA, they will probably only match that offer of 11 LPA, right? Another example could be, but that company that offered is far away from your current place, right? And you really don't want to join that company. And this company who you are interviewing with is very close to your place. But do not ever tell them that. Because if you tell them that your company is very close to my place and I would always prefer to join here than this other offer that I have of 11 lakhs per annum, trust me on this, they will never ever make you this offer of 12. They'll always offer you 10 or at max 11 so that they know if they if they only match this offer you'll always choose their company because the other company is far away so the point is again i'm saying hold your cards do not ever show off your uh, desperateness and you really really like this company doesn't matter doesn't matter don't 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 tell that hold your cards you know, it's very, very important. Trust me on this. Everything will be all right if you do that. I'll just finish with one last thing. How to decide whether to accept or reject an offer, right? Uh, I always look at the CEO interview, at the last interview, how honest the CEO was and how much they want me. See, if they are showing kind of attitude where they are saying, oh, we are doing you a favor by giving you this job or offering you this job, you don't want to go there most likely again it also depends on the financial offer you know the infrastructure sometimes the project all these things are there but for me what really matters is how much they want me if the ceo appears to be lying or making up things which do not exist in market then probably this is not a good company because you know they are not they're not sound in their business plan or business uh, evaluation so CEO interview is the one which tells me the most about the company, not the earlier round of interviews. Probably sometimes CTO round too, right? HR is mostly useless. I don't think they are really the ones which are going to give you the real, you know, information or insight about the company. All the best uh, if you are looking for a new job and I hope that all the information in these three videos will help you. Please subscribe if you uh, like my videos. You can also press the bell button, bell icon, so that you get the notifications uh, for my new videos. Thank you guys once again. I'll see you soon.